flares glowing and white rise and fall continuously. A searchlight stretches its penetrating ray through the night. Hello! Welcome to Adventures in TV Land! For today's adventure, I've come to Kansas City, Missouri to see the National World War I Memorial and Museum. Now beneath the flagpole and the front lawn of the museum, there is this shadow sculpture with a mosaic at the top. Mosaic is featuring key points from World War One. There's the name of it. Pro Patri Morai. 2006 by Ellen Driscoll. All right, and the Nat War One Liberty Memorial is a National Historic Landmark. Admission in general for adults is eighteen dollars. And when you enter, there is this field of poppies that you cross the glass bridge into the actual museum itself. This is a Bavarian 15 centimeter heavy field howitzer. This is a British heavy field gun, Mark One. Here's a variety of currency from all around the world, all from just before 1914, so start of World War One. Have here a wall of rifles and handguns from all kinds of different countries that were actually used in the war. Now I did not know this, but the phrase the war to end all wars was actually coined by H.G. Wells in this book. Now this is a German 15 centimeter heavy field howitzer. See here on the wall how the war spread and quickly spread around the globe from the different alliances. There's just a sample of some um, World War I posters from Great Britain. Now here, this is a very special artifact. This is one of the uniforms of Kaiser Wilhelm himself. Now this here is a uniform of an Australian soldier. This was actually worn at Gallipoli.
There's some various wire from, you know, the barbed wire and various other wire that would be found on the western front on both sides. Imagine having to cut through that thick wire to make your way across. There's a variety of hand grenades from all kinds of different countries. to a thing of delicate beauty. Flares glowing and white rise and fall continuously. A searchlight stretches its penetrating ray through the night and sweeps here and there across the country. Guns flash and boom. The flares... Here is a list of some various statistics of the war. Now here on one side, on the left side there is a Russian nurse uniform and on the other side is a British nurse's uniform. This is an Austro-Hungarian 8 millimeter field gun. This is a British naval quick firing deck gun from a British ship. various British naval uniforms and whatnot. Here's a U.S. field gun. This is the American flag that flew over the U.S. Capitol on April 2nd, 1917, when President Woodrow Wilson delivered his war message to Congress. These are various war posters and propaganda pieces from the United States as this section of the museum is when the United States entered World War I. Have there a stack of U.S. Army uniforms? Here we have a Ford Model T truck from 1918. This is what the encampment would look like for a typical American soldier who wasn't on the Western Front. This is a US 75 millimeter gun and casing. There's an ambulance, perhaps, you know, that was an ambulance that Walt Disney or Herman Melville drove during the war. Who knows? And this is another highlight here of the museum. This is a French Renault FT-17 tank. It is one of only less than a handful that are left in existence. As most of these were destroyed and recycled for parts and ammunition and stuff for World War II. Now this tank was knocked out of commission by a German 77 millimeter artillery piece, as you can see by the hole in the back. This is a US 4.7 inch field gun. This is a 1917 Harley-Davidson motorcycle. Over 9,000 of these were made in 1917, and over 20,000 were sent overseas to be used in the war. This is a German 7.7 centimeter field gun.
Now this memorial was dedicated on, on November 1st, 1921. All these world leaders there were present at its dedication. And for just a slight extra admission cost, you can actually go to the top of the Liberty Memorial here. It presents all these wonderful views of Kansas City that you cannot see anywhere else. famous Western Auto building with its sign on top. In the rear of the museum, you get a great view of the Kansas City Union Station. And above the mural there, it says, These have dared bear the torches of sacrifice and service. Their bodies return to dust. Their work liveth forevermore. Let us strive on to do all which we may achieve and cherish a just, a just and lasting peace among ourselves and with all nations. So that was the National World War I Monument and Memorial here in Kansas City, Missouri. If you're in Kansas City uh, and you enjoy going to museums and stuff, the World War I Museum is one of two museums I highly recommend must-see things. The other one is the Arabia Steamboat Museum. There's lots of other museums and things to see here, but those two places would be on my must-see list if you're coming to Kansas City. This has been another adventure in TV land. If you've liked this video, hit the like button. If you disliked, hit the dislike button. Subscribe to my channel for further content and ring that bell for email notifications. And if there's some place that you would like to see me visit, or you have a suggestion about some future video you would like to see me do, leave a comment in the comment section. And if you've enjoyed this adventure or any of the adventures in TV land, you can help support this channel by going to either buy me a coffee or Patreon and making a donation or becoming a member at either one of those two places. You could also hit the super like button down below from YouTube. It's a heart with a dollar sign in it. 50% uh, of whatever you would donate goes to the creator. So you could support the channel that way if you'd like as well. Thank you for watching. Until next time, that's a wrap.